Hello everyone, another video on Tana today. And this time it's sort of a follow up to the first video I made about creating uh, to do items by forwarding uh, emails. Uh, at that time, I created a rather elaborate system using make.com, where you can forward an email which get parsed by OpenAI, and then convert it into a to do item which then lands into your Tana inbox. Now, many people were interested in the idea, but it looks, it's a little bit complicated to get set up. Plus, also for me, it didn't, um, it didn't make all of my problems disappear. There were many things that weren't an email that I still wanted to convert into a uh, to-do item in Tana easily. Now, for instance, messages in Slack or uh, sometimes when you get a text message. And I thought of something new that would enable this. So today I will present you a shortcut I created that allows you to uh, create to-do items using AI, get them into your Tana inbox on any iOS device or Mac Apple computer. Okay, let's get started by setting this thing up and then showing what it can do. In order to set it up, we'll go to several steps. Uh, the first one is to actually download the shortcut. In the description of the video below, there will be a link, uh, an iCloud link, where you can download and install the shortcut. You can do it on an Apple computer or on any iOS device, it doesn't matter. Uh, but you'll need to go through several setup steps beforehand, so if you do have an Apple computer, it's a little bit easier. When you click the link, um, you will be presented with this screen where you can get the shortcut. Now, I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna click Open Shortcuts and you will be presented with this window when you are on, uh, on a Mac and it will look a little bit differently in iOS, but well, it will be manageable. So here you can see that this is the shortcut that I intend to install. It's called Convert to Tana Task, uh, the published uh, v1.0. Now let's add the shortcut and it will prevent, present you with three questions. And I'll help you uh, fill in each of these three questions if you just follow along on the video. The first question is to get your Tana Workspace API key. In order to do that, you go to the little three dots over here, go to settings, go to API tokens, go to the workspace where you actually want your to-do items to land, or if you only have one, that one, and click create. It will create the API token and it will copy it to the clipboard. In this case, I'll just paste that into the first field. And that's step one done. The second step is actually your OpenAI API key. Now, many who've been playing with the OpenAI commands in Tana will already have know how to do this. But basically, you click the link, uh, which I will set in, in, the in the description, and you create click uh, create new secret key. In this case, I will name it video, but of course, you can name it whatever you want. I'll copy it and I'll paste it in the second field. And then we're already almost done. The last step is your Tana task to do super tag ID. Now, you probably know best where your super tag is located, but mine is in the schema. Uh, and that means that I will go to here, open schema. I will go where I left it. In this case, it's called my to do. I'll press command K and I'll type in show API schema and enter. This will show me this screen and there is the super tag ID. Now I'll copy it and note that you only need to copy the part between the single quotes, else it won't work and paste it in the last field. And that actually concludes all of the setup steps. Now, that's a lot easier than my previous video where you had to set up a lot of stuff in make. Um, and I'll show you how it works in, uh, in a moment. Now we click add shortcut. Now, in my case, it will uh, say you already have a shortcut, but in your case, it will simply just add it. I'll click keep both and I'll go to the shortcuts application where I now can see the one I just added here. It's the, the one with the latest timestamp. I'll rename it so we can know exactly which one I want. Uh, I will name it video. What I also recommend is right clicking on it and selecting add to doc. And what it actually does, it will add the shortcut command to the doc, uh, which is for later. So let's see how this works. 
Now let's start with the same example as I used previously when we have, say, an email that you get. In my previous example, you could forward stuff to Tana. In this case, you can select text in any application you want. Simply select it and then right click and then select convert to Tana task video or whatever you named the shortcut then. The first time you run it, you will be uh, presented with a few confirmation dialogues. Uh, in this case, always read them prayerfully, but well, it's my shortcut, so I know what I'm allowing, and I'll click through each of them. Uh, I'll click allow, and you can see, hey, I got a notification saying check the water heater next week, which is a summary and actually the to-do item that it added to Tana. So let's see if it actually works. If we go into my inbox, you can say, hey, yes, check the water heater next week. Great. So this is a simple way to select text wherever in the app, in the in the operating system and get that summarized by ID uh, by OpenAI uh, open as a to-do item. I've noticed, unfortunately, that there are several apps that don't really play well with this. For instance, Slack, which I often use, if you select text and then right click, then the option is missing. And I think they do something to block this, but there's another way. If you click the icon that is now in your dock, what you can see is that your mouse changes into a different sort of mouse cursor. And what you do is simply drag a square around the text that you want to convert into an, uh, to a to-do item, and it will take the image, and it will take the text out of that image and actually add a to-do item like that. Now, if we have a little bit more patience, because this takes a little bit more, it will say, prepare for the call with Eve, consider the questions provided, and join the call on Riverside at this link. And again, you'll get a notification. Now, this is really cool because now you can use it from whatever app you want and sort of embed it into a more flexible workspace of a workflow. You don't need to always forward an email, but you can use it on multiple things. And the cool stuff is that it not only works on Mac, but it also works on your iPhone. Now, let's click these things away. And I made a little video to demonstrate how it works on the iPhone. Okay, so on the iPhone, it's similar as it works on macOS. So uh, I can show you when I play this video, what actually happens. Uh, in this case, I'll go into the mail application and select some text, same as in, uh, in on the Mac. When I select the text, you get this little pop-up menu and I go to share, where in the bottom you will find convert to Tana task. And when I tap that in the top of the screen, you will see a little icon appear which means it's processing the text, it's sending it to OpenAI, and then this is the same to-do that will land in your Tana inbox. And the cool thing is, it works in any app, even, again, if you don't support text selection, like, again, in Slack. In that case, for instance, when I link the shortcut to my action button and hold the action button, what happens is it takes a screenshot and the screen will blink, and again, you see the processing happen on top of the screen it will be extracting all of the text and converting it into a to-do item using OpenAI and send it into my inbox. So this allows me to capture to-dos from any app, whether I'm on a mobile or whether I am on my Mac. And uh, this makes me very happy because the least time I spend sort of rewriting to-do items, the happier I am. So that's everything I wanted to share with you today. Uh, in this video, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please download the shortcut if you're interested using the iCloud link in the description.